Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing another vegan handbag from the brand Gunas New York. But before that, let me just greet you my wonderful subscribers and friends and especially to my new subscribers. Aloha, mabuhay and welcome to my channel. As I was saying, today we are going to be focusing on Agunas New York. But before that, let me just say that if you love a vegan purses, I do have a playlist of all the vegan handbags that I have reviewed so far on this channel. Mind you, I believe this is going to be the 31st video that I have filmed for vegan handbags. That's a lot of handbags. <laughs> Come to think of it, right? Well, no judgment. I collect vegan handbags i am a junkie for that matter anyway whether you are a new vegan a long time vegan or you're just basically curious with vegan handbags i'm pretty sure your google search will lead you to this brand gunas new york very good marketing strategy right i for a fact have been eyeing this handbag for quite some time now but just because of the mixed reviews i have read i have heard and watched then I kind of like held back on the purchase. Well, thankfully, I was able to get this on sale, this handbag that I'm going to show you. It was 40% off from kindstyleshop.com three or four weeks ago. Not entirely sure if they're still running a sale. If they do, then I will be posting a link to their online shop. This is the style that was on sale. I think this is called Cottontail. Let me just verify. I know here you are again Catherine look at your phone yeah because I can't memorize details yeah because I am not their sales rep <laughs> yeah I'm correct after all uh, the name is cottontail satchel in black so knowing me I like structured I like minimal design and then you're probably gonna ask me what draw what drawn you to this bag that looks so girly with ribbon on the side well really you guys i just want to try gunas and um this one retails for 189 dollars but right now it's sold out from kind style shop so who bought this me <laughs> i will check if it's available in the actual gunas website so your purchase will come with a dust bag like this it's nice a uh, hot pink that says gunas new york so given that i only own one gunas handbag my review is not a representation of the overall quality of their other handbags right and i'm saying that as a prelude to my actual experience just because when i unbox this handbag i was a bit disappointed because you know me if you've watched my other reviews i am very very particular with stitching i guess just because i have had a great experience with angela roy with phenomenal stitching also alexandra k no flaws as far as stitching is concerned because to me aside from the quality of the material the stitching is a make or break part of my whole handbag experience so i don't know if this is just a product flaw an old stock that i got from kind style shop but nonetheless i was a little bit more i was a little bit disappointed because i'm not sure if you can see it but there is an even stitching and i had to cut an excess thread and i don't like that if you're gonna make me pay more than hundred dollars i know it's relative price is always relative but for vegan handbags especially for a brand that you know claims to be designer quality then me a consumer cutting the thread i should not do that right so like i said i am always always nitpicky when it comes to stitching but now that's out of the way let's just say that this handbag really grew on me let's focus on the good points of this bag okay first i know i am not the girly type but even if there's ribbon i think that it doesn't look tacky at all it looks cute actually and if this one is available in pink or probably even red or beige or mauve i think i might buy that the girly detail here i think would be better appreciated in a lighter color so it comes with a gold hardware and this bag chain which unfortunately you can't remove it's branded it says here gunas and love in font 
I think it's a cute, uh, you know, extra detail, but I could live without it, okay? So there is a pocket on the outside, which I really like because I'm the one who always puts her phone on the outside pocket for easy access. So I like that a lot. The material is grainy. If you are used to owning leather bags, then it's pretty obvious that this one is not leather. It does not closely resemble a leather bag. But that's the whole point of using or buying vegan handbags, right? We do not want to support the leather industry anymore. So that's that. It comes with a strap that is adjustable. Again, it works best for petite ladies like us. So you can carry this two ways, either as shoulder or as a satchel. I like this one as satchel because that's how I love my handbags in general. It comes with a top snap closure. It has an interior side pocket and a zippered one in the middle, which to be honest with you, I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> Am I blind or what? It, it is made of 100% vegan textured eco polyurethane and the lining is made from recycled plastic bottles. The hardware has 18K gold plating. What fits inside now? The favorite part of this video. As always, you've seen me review this too. This is from Angela Roy. This is my pouch which holds my check some receipts and few lipsticks yeah especially in days that I just want to downsize this wallet from Angela Roy I do have a review of this too on this channel and then coin purse or card holder again from Angela Roy this one is a case that holds both my sunglasses and my eyeglasses my claw keys oh another hair tie and sanitizer and basically that's it with those inside it's a little heavy but not too heavy that it will break my bone <laughs> so final thoughts i have been wearing this handbag to work for two weeks now consecutively and like i said it's that kind of a handbag that just grew on me it should have been better if i do not have to cut the excess thread it should have been better if the stitching is even but these are my trivial concerns my criteria is a lot more different than yours maybe you are more forgiving <laughs> then that's just how i am in general but overall i think it's quite decent especially for the price that i paid for it i got it on sale not gonna complain about it so will i repurchase let me think about it because like i said i do own a lot of handbags already but if there is a particular style that I would like to try again then perhaps I would. So that concludes another video with me today. If you're not subscribed yet, please do hit the thumbs up button and the bell so that you will be notified of new uploads for this channel. Till then, thank you always for watching. Salamat po for watching and mahalo. I'll see you next time.